Hey, blessings, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Thursday, March 28th. Thank you again for joining with us in our time of prayer, these 10 minutes or so together. Thank you again for thumbs upping it and sharing it that other people can see it, other people can see that we're happy about this. Amen. That we are prayer warriors for the kingdom of God. Tomorrow again, Friday. Good Friday. Good Friday. Amen. Breakfast for the men over at the George Inn and by McAfee there. Uh, you have to sign up for that so we know how many people. And then also 6 p.m. Try to remember all these times. 8 a.m. for breakfast, 6 p.m. for dinner. The word of God as we receive communion together as our at our annual Good Friday communion service. Very special service. Please join us on Friday. Amen. Okay, so our Bible reading today is Luke chapter 6. Let's just read. This is where Jesus, they're eating the grains. And Jesus answered, that, of course, the Pharisees. Anytime you do anything, that you always got these Pharisees and sad, you see, out there complaining about everything. Have you not ever read this? What David did when he was hungry, he and those who were with him, how he went into the house of God, took and ate the showbread, and also gave some to those with him, which is not lawful for any of the priests to eat. And he said to them, the Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. You know, here's what I found out in my short 65 years of being alive I don't know everything. Amen. So therefore, you don't see me on Facebook saying this is wrong and that is wrong and this is right. You know what? I keep my little brain to myself. Amen. All right. So today our prayer focus is the homeless in the states. We're praying for West Virginia and Maryland and for the our country, our world, the Republic of the Congo, 5.4 million people. 14.5% evangelical Christians, number 130 on your prayer map. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Oh, Father, first we give you thanks. Thanks for all that we have. Look, we're inside a warm house right now, Father. You provide. If it's raining, we have shingles and a roof. You provide. I can go to my kitchen, turn on the faucet, get water you provide. I can go to the bathroom, do the things we have to do and get rid of it from our house. You provide. I have clothes that I wear. You provide. All I can say is thank you, 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 Father. In this Thanksgiving, I also give you praise. Thank you for Good Friday. It's all, you know, it's kind of weird, Good Friday, but it is good. Because for the joy that was set before him, our Lord Jesus went to the cross, died on the cross for you, for me, church family, prayer warriors. He gave his very best for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only unique, precious son. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you that our names are written in the Lamb's book of life if we have been washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Holy Spirit who lives inside us. It's to our advantage that he came. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the sunshine. Thank you for the rain. Thank you for the moon. So brilliant this past week as it went into full moon status and now waning. Thank you, Father, for the stars at night. Thank you for our spouse or even our singleness. Whatever it might be, we give you thanks. And thank you again that soon, very soon, we're going to be in your presence forever. And we say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, as we begin our time of prayer, Lord, Lord, we lift up the states before you and we pray for this United States of America. God, help America. You have blessed us. <coughs> You have blessed us, Lord, beyond words, and we all we can say is thank you. But Lord, we're doing things now that are, are pulling away your blessings. And now, if we go against Israel, oh my, oh my, 
God help America. Lord, I pray for this president and all those that are involved in telling him what to do, Lord. And I pray that they won't go against Israel. They'll let Israel finish what they started here. Well, actually what Hamas started here and that they can clean this up. And I thank you for that. We pray for West Virginia, 39% evangelical Christians, Maryland, 18% evangelical Christians. We pray down in the Maryland area, Delaware area, Baltimore, Father, and this bridge that collapsed. And we just pray again for the lives that were lost, their families. Again, I always think this. These guys went to work that day, working on a bridge, never thinking a boat is going to crash into the bridge and knock the whole thing down and that they would find themselves in eternity. Oh, I pray they didn't find themselves in a Christless eternity. I pray, Father, for them, and I thank you. We lift up those that are in authority in our nation, and we pray for them. We bind up the evil, Lord. Lord, we know what your word says. We know that violence is going to arise and lawlessness, but we pray for these people because they must give an account for what they have done destroying such a beautiful nation, such a beautiful nation. We pray, Father, for our executive, legislative, judicial, governors, mayors, education, businesses, families, churches, arts and entertainment, the media, all the different spheres of our society, Lord. And Lord, as our vision for 2024, so much more in 24, as we see the world becoming so much more dark, so much more evil. I thank you. We're seeing so much more protection, so much more blessed hope, so much more of your favor upon us. For where sin abounds, grace yet more. And I thank you, thank you for that, Lord. Father, we lift up our world before you. We do pray for the nation of Israel. I pray for the entire Middle East, Lord. The Middle East, Father. These can be so blessed given so much oil and so much wealth, Lord, and yet they have one passion to destroy little Israel. What? Tell me if the Bible isn't true when you see that. But yet in the midst of it all in 1948, you brought them back to the promised land as your word said you would. And then in uh, 67 or 69, Jerusalem came back. And then President Trump making Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we praise you for that. We lift them up and we pray for their protection during this time of war. You said there'd be a time of peace, there'd be a time of war. They're in a time of war right now. We lift up the Republic of, of the Congo, Lord, and we pray for the people there. We pray for their protection this, during this time of insecurity and conflict. In this city of Goma, Father, with the population, it says here, is in a panic. Believers are encountering obstacles in presenting the gospel. May peace reign. May the enemy be, plans be dwarfed. And may the gospel be proclaimed to every person in this Republic of the Conga, despite the unrest in Jesus' name. We lift up Hong Kong before you. Bernese, North Korea. South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, the Philippines. We pray for these nations of Asia, Lord. We see South Korea with 16.3% evangelical Christians. We see Japan with 0.5%. We think of General MacArthur who called out to the churches and said, Japan is open for the gospel. Their God is lost. They're open. And no Christians really went, oh my, oh my Lord, I see people in this day and age, just they'll go anywhere, why wham, uh, every home for Christ. And so many, I think of Rick Renner, we'll be praying for him in a moment, leaving the United States and going to the former Soviet Union during the time of the unrest there, during, during the time uh, of things where he couldn't even get a roll of toilet paper, he said. But people that were willing, oh, the blessings that they're going to receive for all eternity. We pray for our missionaries, our, our apostles that are out there doing the work, Lord, getting out there into the highways and byways, 
help them, protect them, use them. Send them across the path of the perfect person, Lord, that's open to the gospel, but protect them. We think of North Korea and how many of this 1.5% are in hard labor prison camps. Oh my, oh my. Help them, we pray. We pray, Father, for these Asian nations in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, we lift up different ministries before you. And as I said, we lift up Good News Church, Rick Renner, right there in Moscow with all that's going on there, right there. Today, today's choice, voice of the martyrs, the persecuted church, Lord, around our world. We just saw the other day, I forgot the name of the nation in Africa, that they bombed one of the biggest churches in that nation. Oh, Lord, 30 wars, more than 30 wars or skirmishes or, or, or civil wars or things going on or hot spots throughout our world. We pray. We pray for Russia, Ukraine, Israel, Hamas, North Korea with the, the South Korea, China with Taiwan, the Philippines, Japan. Oh, I can go on and on. Us bombing of the, the Houthis and all that's going on. My, oh my, we pray. We pray for United World Mission, Voice of Calvary Ministries. Again, they have Voice of the Martyrs, Way of the, the Master, WIC International, Windows International Network, and World Challenge, Lord. We pray for these ministries. We lift up Kenneth Copeland's ministry, Victory Channel, Billy Brim, others, Lord, that are just out there, uh, Rama, Lord, and Karis and other schools that are training people for the work of the ministry. We lift up our world. We lift up our states. We lift up the Middle East, and we pray for all these, Lord. Now we lift up the homeless before you, Lord, and we pray for them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, I made a mistake. Organizations I did tomorrow, so I lift up the Timothy Initiative, Trans World Radio, Transform World, Trinity Broadcasting Network, United Bible Society, United Church of Canada, United for Missions. We pray for these. We lift up the prayer cards before you, and we pray for the needs of brothers and sisters, Lord. We lift up Christian Faith Fellowship Church. Every member, attender, and guest, we thank you for what you're doing there in every church that's preaching your word. Now, Lord, I bless your people as we go. We thank you, Lord, that you have blessed us. You've made us the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath in all our ways and endeavors, that we are greatly blessed, highly favored, deeply loved, that we are blessed to be a blessing. In Jesus' name, we bless you, Lord. And we say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Love you, Father. Love you, Son. Love you, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. Hey, God bless you again. Men, Friday morning, see you over at the George Inn. See you, men and women, tomorrow night as we receive communion to remember our Lord. God bless.